So the concepts of vapor pressure, saturation vapor pressure, dew point are very common in meteorology and they can be confusing to some degree. So you know, I'm going to review some of these concepts and what they really mean. Uh, shown here is a plot of the saturation vapor pressure versus temperature. And what this line shows is <clears throat> it's the line of uh, where the, um, at what vapor pressure the air would be saturated given the temperature. So for example, if I, if I wanted to know how much uh, water vapor the air can hold, which is the saturation vapor pressure, um, at uh, 20 degrees, I start with 20 degrees, I move up to the curve, I move left to the curve to here, and I read off at about 22 millibar. So for at, at, at 20 degrees, the saturation vapor pressure is um, is 22 millibar. The um, and as I get higher higher temperatures, say 35, the saturation vapor pressure is correspondingly higher. Now notice that it's not double. So if I if I go up to uh, going from 20 to say 40, I've doubled the temperature. I go up to read the saturation vapor pressure, and it's around 72. And that's that's much more than double the uh, saturation vapor pressure at at 20 degrees. So, so what we have is we have a few concepts. We have the vapor pressure, which which is the kind of actual amount of water vapor in the air. We have the saturation vapor pressure, which is really the maximum that the air can hold. And um, and we also have what's called the dew point. And the dew point is simply the temperature that you would have to cool or warm the air parcel to to be saturated. So, for example, let's say I had, let's say I knew that the actual amount of vapor pressure in the in, in the air was, let's say, um, thirty millibar. If I wanted to find the dew point, well, all I would do is start and assume that at the dew point, I know that that the saturation vapor pressure would be this, and so I would read across here to the curve and then read down and get about 24 degrees. So then the dew point would be about 24 degrees. All right. Likewise, if I knew <coughs> that the dew point was, say, 30 degrees, then I can read up on this curve and over and get the 42, which would be the vapor pressure, so is the actual amount. So although dew point is measured in degrees Celsius, um, it really is a measure of the actual amount of humidity, uh, the actual amount of water vapor. Okay, so just like the vapor pressure is. So the vapor pressure and the dew point are both the same sorts of measures. They're measuring exactly the same thing. Uh, they're measuring it in somewhat different ways. Finally, we have the um, relative humidity. Relative humidity is really just the actual over the maximum. Or, in other words, it's the vapor pressure over the saturated vapor pressure, how much could it can actually hold. Um, so, and that's generally given as a percentage, so sometimes we multiply this by a hundred by a hundred percent and then we'll be and then we'll be done with that. In order to find the relative humidity we need to find both the vapor pressure and the saturation vapor pressure. To find the sometimes we're given the vapor pressure, sometimes we're given the dew point. Um, so in order to find for example in order to find the vapor pressure I could be given I could be given the vapor pressure, I could be given the dew point, uh, I could be given the specific humidity. Um, so a number of things I could be given in order, in order to do that. If I want to um, measure the saturation vapor pressure, if I need that, really what I need is I need the temperature, because the temperature gives me the saturated, gives me the maximum. So 
let's go back to this um, um, idea of, of the vapor pressure being 30 millibar, the dew point being 24, and let's say the temperature is let's say um is is 30 now notice notice that the temperature is above the dew point so here we have the dew point here and we have 30 for the temperature which means 30 for the temperature means if i read up on this plot and read over that gives me the saturated vapor pressure i'm not drawing a very straight line but it's about 42. um so so the saturated vapor pressure now is about 42 millibar because of that, we can get the relative humidity is simply the vapor pressure, which is 30 millibar over 42 millibar. And this is going to translate to roughly 75%. So again, the relative humidity is always the actual over the maximum. Both the dew point and the vapor pressure are measures of the actual. The saturation vapor pressure, which is given pretty much by the temperature and being able to read off this curve, gives us the maximum, and we're able to, to do that. And from any one of these, one should be able to go, go um, uh, and find, find the other ones.